What's up guys, my name is Matt, and in this video we're going to be doing a dungeon guide for the Shadowpan Monastery. Start off here by getting your first quest from Ban Bearheart, and then we're going to head in and get started. Get the tank set for some good misdirect action, and we're going to be doing this on a BM Hunter point of view. So this first pull is large and just kind of chains into itself, guys. It's nothing really challenging. It's just a whole lot of mobs over and over. Just work your way through them. Get to see if your tank has a little salt. You'll be good to go. We'll get to our quest here once we kill this big old group and kind of start to explain everything that's going to happen. Oh, let's see. Shadowpan Monastery. First quest that we're going to get here is um, rid Tarazu of his possessions of hatred. Okay, get through the door. And we've got Goo Cloud Strike as our first boss. Now, this encounter is not crazy difficult on normal guys. On heroic, it can get pretty hairy so that you guys know. Um, essentially what's going to happen is the two-phase fight is you've got Goo by himself and then at one point he's going to have this dragon come help him. So we're just going to burst him down. Okay, now he moves on to the dragon, so we're going to go over there. Azure Sherpa Sherpent? Serpent moves into attack. Group up to release the healing energy, so stack is what that means. And back on glue crowd strike. All right, we got him, guys. And we got the Azure Serpent Chest Guard. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see that or not. Sometimes you can't. That's like a golden uh, flecked look with a little bit of silver in it, a little bit of bronze. Okay. Gonna head into this room. This room's got kind of stealth packs that pop out one after the other. So you get one, you pull this first guy, and then a whole bunch more of these little wonderful ethereal shaws are gonna show up, guys. Hey, there's another. And we're going to clear these groups out. Now, these groups right now are pretty standard. They're going to get a little bit weird in a little bit here, and we'll talk through how you handle those. Okay, now when you're in this outside area, you're going to want to mount up. These things are all going to try to hit you. These are all these ice arrows from up there. And you will get stopped and stuck. Don't sweat it. Just keep on trucking. Cross the bridges here. And into the doors. Archers disappear. Okay. Now this is a fun encounter. This is the Snowdrift Dojo. You're going to fight a whole bunch of non-elite mobs. It's going to get kind of crazy. There's going to be mobs everywhere. We'll wait for the rest of the group here, and we're just going to keep putting them down and putting them down. Pay attention to whichever mob you're targeted, and uh, they'll just uh, just keep switching when you get one down to 1%, because it'll kind of weirdly let you keep hitting it, and you want to kill the rest of them.
So just keep working all these guys through, doing the whole bursty thing. And they'll just keep coming, but they're nothing really to worry about. Once you get through that, then you're going to fight two of his champions at once. They come out. It's easy day. So he's like, okay, you beat my easy guys. Now we got the toughies. These guys are not really the boss, though, as you'll see. Boss is waiting for us up top. And he's like, you don't really know somebody unless you fight them, so let's fight. That's kind of what's up with the boss. Okay, you're done with these guys. After a minute of waiting, this little blockade will be removed and you can head up. Okay, and then he's going to materialize right here. This is kind of a funky fight. You're basically fighting uh, Master Snowdrift, but he's going to kind of port around and make copies of himself. So just get busy on the deeps and it'll all be good. Don't stand in front of that Fist of Fury he's got going there, and he's also going to be casting some things out, so don't stand in a direct path in front of him. He's got a Tornado Kick right now, also not a good thing to stand in. He hasn't got to the copies making part yet. That's based off of that Monk spell that they have where uh, they get copies of themselves for a limited time that do the same things as them. Okay, watch the sides. And get these copies. So see, just don't stand right in front of that. And just kind of move her. Oop! I did get decked by one. So they don't just get thrown in a straight line. So after you beat him, you're going to get a chest, and you're going to turn in the quest and get your next quest, guys. Okay, so don't run past him too quick so you can get your quest turned in. Okay. Same thing again, grab your mount here, guys. Some of these groups can be skipped. Hopefully we'll get to show you guys a little bit of that as we roll through here. Lots of AOE effects here. This is really designed to be like I think the last five man or one of the last five mans for um, Pandaria, so it's a little tougher than the other ones, but none of the Pandaria t dungeons were particularly tough. Now Cataclysm, man, they had some tough heroics. Really tough. Okay, so the big ones here are not the dangerous guys. It's these little guys, these little guys. I think these are the guys that explode when you hit them. So, like, just be super careful with standing around the little guys when they die.
Okay, we're going to go through here and we're going to kill the Shaw of Violence. Sounds like a pleasant guy to hang out with. Not a whole lot to watch out for with the Shaw. He throws out these little spikes on the ground. He has a little whirlwindy attack. But he's nothing too crazy. It's the last boss where things get a little hairy. A little add action here. Nothing too crazy, guys. Yeah. Head out the door to the right. Now, it's really important, you know, you see everybody doing this, somebody's got to run up and click this body. That does a purification ritual, okay? Then you can attack the rest of them. If you don't do that, you'll have a lot of trouble killing these groups. you can run past these but I don't remember so I know that this group can be skipped over there I accidentally pulled that group my bad I didn't see that group my fault. I think these guys can be skipped from what I remember. He ran right into them. Okie doke. I'm going to kill that hateful essence. Get rid of that so I can do the purification on this guy. Somebody else got the purification, all done. Click off my turtle. Okay. kill these for the group, these um, hateful essences. Okay, and then I try to get to the guys. Ugh. With the purification ritual. As soon as these little AOE areas open up, then you get to the bodies to turn this stuff off. There we go. Okay. 
And we got last boss right here. I uh, usually like to clear the orbs on the side first, but we didn't quite get time. Okay, so basically what's going to happen is you're going to get um, like a, uh, a bar that's going to fill up on you called Hatred. And you can use this ability that's right above, below it. Um, and that ability is called Meditate to clear it. But the burst is so high from us classes with enchanted BOAs right now, we'll probably have them dead before we even have to deal with that. Back in the day, though, you'd have to do that a couple of times just to make it through the encounter. Somebody went down to meditate to clear theirs. So I think I'm just going to burst through. I think I'll be okay. All right, we got him. Okay. Turn in. One to Taranzu. And you get your loot. And then you can turn in the other one to Master Snowdrift. And that, guys, was the Shadowpan Monastery. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow it to help as many players as possible. And please hit the little bell icon if you want to get notified of future videos. Thank you guys for spending the time with me. This has been Matt from Light in the Darkness signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.